New at 5, a big operation by U.S. Marshals gets dozens of alleged gang members off the streets. They had a lot of help with this one from other law enforcement agencies to our very own viewers. Fox 6's Tammy Hughes live tonight with all the details. Tammy? Yeah, 35 alleged violent gang members or their associates are now behind bars in jails like here at the Milwaukee County Jail. And the U.S. Marshals hope this sends a clear message to the bad guys that you can run, but you cannot hide. I have a Latin King member, a Mexican Posse member, and a member of the Black Gangster Disciples. U.S. Marshal Kevin Carr has a strong message for violent gang members. If you are wanted for violent crimes, the U.S. Marshal's Fugitive Task Force will find you. From Kenosha to Racine, Milwaukee, Sheboygan, and up to Green Bay, his office arrested 35 alleged gang members and their associates over the last two weeks. These are pictures taken during the operation. They had help from the FBI to local sheriff's offices and police departments. This particular operation is an excellent example of how interagency cooperation can act as a force multiplier. Harold Jewell was wanted for a probation violation. After cocaine was recovered at the scene, the Milwaukee Police Department exited, executed a search warrant at the Glory Days Tavern, operated by Jewel and frequented by gang members. Carr says the GD doesn't stand for Glory Days. It's a marketing ploy for the gangster disciples. And this is what happened when a fugitive tried to hide in an attic during a raid. He fell through the ceiling. But don't worry, he was caught by a Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputy. And when Fox 6 profiled Rodney Harris just this past Saturday? That very evening, we received enough information to arrest Rodney Harris, who was a part of this gang roundup. And um, you can't be more effective than that. It was a community-wide effort, which is why Carr says the bad guys everywhere are outnumbered. If you are wanted, we'll find you, and we'll bring you to justice. Again, 35 people taken into custody, and Carr says this operation, he believes, has put a dent in these gang organizations' ability to operate successfully. They want to remind everyone that capturing fugitives will continue to be the focus of the U.S. Marshals. Reporting live outside the county jail, I'm Tammy Hughes, Fox 6 News. Tammy, well, this is great news. Are there more arrests expected, or is this it for now? There certainly are more. In fact, someone that uh, we profiled on Fox 6 about two weeks ago, uh, they have not received any calls on him. So we'll continue to help out the U.S. Marshals and run their profiles, and they'll continue, hopefully, to get those tips from the community. All right, Tammy, thank you. Entering the 2010 Packers season, running back Ryan